Hello gang, welcome back to Boundless Bay on our ship that we put in last time. I did a little up, few upgrades here and there. I just wanted to ramp up production for the tools, or basically the timber train and the oil train. So I just did a little couple of upgrades there I'll show you shortly. We're going to crack on with the passenger service today. Uh, we've got a bit more money rolling in, so it's going to allow us to be able to build kind of what we want to build by plowing a hole straight through the town down here. We might even look at putting in a branch line to head up uh, into the mountains a little bit too uh, and um, sort of uh, get uh, a couple of trains rolling in terms of passengers. That might afford us to be able to put on a bit of a... Uh, oh, let's swing this way, please. Might afford us to be able to put on a bit of a uh, uh, sort of freight network going up into the mountain as well. Uh, to deliver some goods up the top and if you don't know what I'm talking about uh, there was a quick ride in it's up here at Hastings so if we put a passenger branch line from here up to Hastings we can probably then look at uh, putting it in some sort of uh, freight uh, infrastructure as well to get some stuff lifted and shifted up there i.e. food um, and then that's probably it from there we could probably we could probably take some of this iron ore out of here then and send it down uh, up to here as well where we're gonna have to start producing steel later on as well but if we kind of break through and put a branch line and follow the road uh, up and around here it does tunnel through like I said we don't just go over mountains we don't just tunnel big tunnels through we kind of if we follow the road the road's already got a tunnel infrastructure in there that I didn't put in the game did so that might allow us to be able to get our foothold up in there otherwise we could probably swing out past this way and come through here a little bit swivel around and up up that way or we we come through here and come in the back way like that that might be, not be a bad idea either up this sort of valley and around into there that's not a bad uh that's not a bad way to come up actually uh well we'll play with that shortly today though we're going to be working on castle points train station and then getting a line in around there hooked up across here you can see we're making good money here uh, I uh, I did what I did is the last time the depot was actually sitting here I had to extend the actual uh, this uh, cargo point just here because it used to stop about here I had to extend it out here because I made the train a little bit longer I upgraded the actual uh, locos on it as well so I've just put the depot up and around here now this is actually kind of ready when we start bringing stone down the mountain we can just plug in straight to there and bring it around into our services down here as well same with that can come down here potentially and maybe even some uh, other stuff we can bring down right so it's kind of lending itself ready to bring in we, we can po probably put a bit of a truck stop in here or over here somewhere we can flatten a bit of land and do it that way all right uh, i also uh, started playing with uh, squaring off some more uh, porting area here for the port and uh, painting it out a little bit and just sort of starting to get it's it's no this is just literally draft days here this is planning stages of uh, how I want the port to be sort of shaped it may not even stay this way so um, we'll, we'll leave it at that for the moment and I just sort of borrowed out a little bit more area we'll do the same up there eventually right so let's we'll come up here and just recap what we did we pretty much plugged in a train station in here uh, we haven't set up any bus services or anything for it as of yet. Oh. Are we, we, yeah, okay, so we've got one there ready to go. That's perfect. That's brilliant. What we don't have, we've got you plugged in there. Oh, okay, you're plugged in there. So you're actually feeding all of these people down here. That's okay. okay that's okay. All those people down here, they can just walk to the train station. I wonder, have we got that one connected too? You are connected to the road there okay so that's that's brilliant they can walk to either the, either of those and then we can just set the bus uh, service up around this side of town which is going to make things a heck of a lot easier for us going forward we'll do that after we get um, a train station in here now i did say we're going to kind of i, I didn't really have a plan did I? all i know is that we're going to come around this sort of peninsula here and potentially put in a nice wallop big bridge across that way it was either that or follow the bay around past the beach but i gotta be honest i i did some smoothing here because it was a dirty big rut of a of a thing but i don't know if i i'll keep that there i may i may shape it to follow a little bit more of the coast so i may have it come up this way a little bit more along the coastline before then looping back around don't know how i really like that coming across the beach like that for the 
most part. You wouldn't typically build a rail track on the beach because sand is not very, it's not a very stable base. Uh, okay, so I can't imagine you would. I mean, sand, if sand was retained, it's okay. But because it's sand on a beach that t sand typically washes in and out, that train station, that train line would be conducive to us sinking and sagging and yeah, that's no good for anyone. So anyway, we'll, we'll play with that later. Where are we going to put our train station here? Now, if we look down here, we can see residential is on this side. Now, we want to have the ability to bypass and head down this way. How are we going to do that? I don't know. It's either that or we bring it in and around the back here. And then what we do is we do something cool with the passenger service where it skips over the top and starts to climb that ridge. Goes over the top and the back over that way, down across that way. That could look really cool. That could actually be a lot of fun. So you could imagine it would sort of hug the side of this, swoop back around onto there and in. Huh. Either that or it comes straight through here, which is kind of where I wanted, I wanted it to come down this channel right here. Uh, it comes around. We're going to have to do a lot of deleting and fixing and changing of stuff. It would come through here. Well, I guess it could go straight through the... It could rumble straight through the freight station, couldn't it? That's actually something I hadn't thought of. We're not even using that platform there yet. Oh. I'm going to put this in and I'm going to regret either way, I, either side I go now, aren't I? Because look, we're going to have so much more freight coming in and out of there that I've got to be honest, I wish that was now too. Oh, well, actually, this has got to change anyway. This is already, um, when the timber rolls in, it's that max, max capacity. Also, this truck here, I've only got two trucks on that. Manage those vehicles. Get me another two, please. Get that stuff lifted and shifted out of there, please. Um... Yeah, well, this is all going to get changed anyway, so this will probably end up getting and becoming a four, four-way doozy, or I might even be able to put another one up here. Yeah, okay, we'll come through this section of town. We will. So, I'm going to pause up here. We're going to clear ourselves a little bit of town. Right through here. Uh, and there. Lead all those homes. Luckily... We're earning good buck. Okay, a lot of them will get deleted when I um, start putting train tracks and stuff there anyway. I just want to give myself a clear vision of where I'm heading here. Now, I don't mind some roads still being in. Depends if it's flat enough, then we can get the we can actually get a line straight through them. Let's see how we go with this. Passenger service, that 240, right? We'll keep it that. I'm going to put the big side... On that side of the road, am I? Yes, I haven't really got a lot of room here. I wish we had... I really wish we had curve stations, or the ability to curve stations anyway. I'm not really leaving myself a lot of room, I'll be honest. Um... Who has to miss out? Tell you what, give me... Give me one track. Wish I could have small buildings. Give me one track like this. I'm going to configure this now to get what I want. I just don't want these buildings all here. That's what's sort of killing me. Get rid of that. Right, let's build what we want here. In fact, you, you might just say... Uh, I kind of want the track to start where the actual platform is, but let's just say... Right. I kind of had to do this just to get what I wanted here. Right, so we put that there. Brilliant. I didn't need to actually take that one out for a sec. Just going to play with a couple of things here. So if I now have you there, which is where I originally wanted you, 
Then I can have my buildings like this. I can have a building, a nice big building there. I can probably plug in... Damn. I was hoping I could plug in a smaller one down this end. If I change how that road looks... I kind of like how it's going though through there, but... Mm, it's just... Well, I'll tell you what. There's going to be a truck, a bus stop anyway, so your bus stop will probably sit here, right? I'm trying to do this without deleting too much of the town. I kind of want to keep the town as natural as possible. Having said that, to get the look I want just here, I'm going to have to do that. Because I want to sit that there. Then I want to run. You can run straight into that. So if you're... Okay, let me redo this road just here. Because this is actually a... Yeah, we'll just redo this. I'm going to re-put this in to get what I want. Yeah. As much as I really like that, because it was like a wall of tall buildings and then it was smaller buildings. <sighs> in fact, now that I've done that, I may as well just get exactly what I want, where I want it. So, see you later. You go too. Right, that's cost us the best part of 5 million for all of that, but that's fine. Now give me the two. 240 high speed and then I can actually set you this way right no I don't want that that way I want to do like I did at the other end I'm going to have you like that with the with the ability to potentially have buildings on the ends down there so a bit like this right I have you like that, I can then go configure. I just can't squeeze them on that one, but I can there. And I can't quite get you there. That is your connection. Okay, you've got a fair amount of connection there. Yeah, you can't unfortunately put it on the end. I wish I could have like on that corner without cutting off the actual track. That to me doesn't make sense. Just put a little L piece on this bit here and then we all get a connection and we're happy. Either way, I think that's still okay. You could probably even just do this, right? So if I extend the platform out one, can I then get a passenger building where I want it there? No, still can't. <sighs> Just a touch. Okay, well, here's the thing. It was in line with that tree. Move it out of in line with that tree. So if I have it like more like that, I should get what I want. Right? This might seem trivial, but I think it's important. Yeah, that's, that gets what I want there. And then I can put still a bigger one there. No, I can still go with a smaller one there. Get a couple in. A small one there. Right. That's still... So that allows me connection on those ends. So all of a sudden expands our connection on this side. What I'm going to do... And then once again, I can set my bus service up to travel around there. But everyone within this side, the beach side, can just walk to the train station. Essentially. Now, I've got this road here. That road there I, I did want to keep. However, I might... Wonder if I can squeeze the line that way. I might still be able to get it through there. Let's get a road back in here that I took out. Yeah, we'll leave ourselves plenty of room for our building here. You didn't really go up there, did you? You came down straight down here, and now I've taken that out of your position. So. Damn, it's because I made that crooked, wasn't it? Yep, 
Yeah, that works. That works for me. Alright, let's work on tracks and then I can work on filling everything in, eh? So, our tracks are going to come out here. Making sure that we don't have horrible dips and rises in our tracks. The roads are okay. Don't worry about the houses. They'll, they'll come back if you... Right? They'll come back. But that's basically how that's going to go out of town. You can even send that over there. Just in case the AI gets ideas about building out there. We don't really have anything going that way. And then this one, this is where it's going to become tighter. Now I'll, I'll just let the track do the deleting of where I want it to delete. Oh my God. I basically want you to come through there, but you're being a bit funny about it. Being a bit funny about it. Now, why are you being like that? What about your friendo here? Can we get you in there? No, you just want to attach to everything really weirdly. See, I don't know why you want to do that. Um, okay, we're going to have to do some deleting here, which sucks. Delete you. I'll put them back. Because I'll put them back how I want them. Like, I get it. That's the curve it wants to take. It's not the curve I want it to take, though. I want it to be a little bit more straighter there. Yeah, see, why are you doing a weird bow thing? Just, um, yeah, okay. Don't bow. Okay. Yeah, it's because you want to attach to the road. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. You're trying to attach to the road and I don't want you to. Right, we're probably not going to get what we want here then. Although we might just... One there. No, not one there. Ooh. What about here? I just want many roads up and down here like we had. There was one like about here, I think. Sure, you can have that. Uh, there was definitely one here. If I take you out, I will put you back, never fear. Right, you can come back to there. Then I kind of still get what I want. Ah, I'll leave that there. I'm going to leave those buildings on that side. In fact, I might just... Uh, the, the look I'm trying to get for this area... is pretty much the look... I want some buildings on this side next to the actual train track. Is uh, industrial buildings lining the track as you come through. So when you come through the train, you're actually coming through what feels like part of the city and I like that look. We can fence it up, we can decorate it, but the buildings will be all around it. It'll look really good. You're traveling across roads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice and flat there, no bubbles. A slight little ripple here and there is not, not bad. That's fine. Okay, cool. I'm not using any overpasses, as you might see as well. Not really concerned about the traffic, to be honest. It is what it is to me. On a, on a more difficult playthrough with uh, probably a lot more difficult settings, I would probably look at putting some overpasses in based on the fact that uh, time is money. For this, however, we can afford... I wonder if putting one at each end would be the way to go.
Or I wonder. I'm a walking in the street. Ba -da -ba -da -ba. And I wonder. Let's just dress this up a little bit nicer. Uh, let's have you go like that. Let's see if we can organize some bigger buildings to s come back and sit in here. Then what we'll do is maybe we'll get a nice building in there, so I won't put that there. We might get some nice buildings in there, see? Which I think we will. So what do you want to do about a bus stop then? Well, go back to the 10 meter and just slot it in here. Make the people walk. Make the people walk. That's interesting. To say the least. Um, are they really going to walk that far? I mean, probably not. You can always do the old tried and tested steps, right? Steps will help it out. And then just, if you're worried about just steps being there, you can slap in a building that looks like... Um, it's part of the rail network, and then um, do some painting here. Right. Paint it all up, concrete it all up. Got your steps in there, bish bash bosh. People don't have to walk far to get on your trains then. You can make it ticketed, you can put some stuff in to make it look ticketed, make it look like it's part of it. Uh, yeah, all that kind of jazz, right? Lovely, we can fence all that off around there as well and make it look good eventually. Right, okay, now we get to hook up the actual line itself. So, here's the thing. We're not going to be bringing ships into this bay, I don't believe. And if we do, they will just be token uh, show showboats. Stop showboating around. I will keep you flat, please. For the most part, just there. And I will have you angled that way. Right, let's start bringing the line from here. How are you going to do that? I'm actually going to take it sharper that way. And I'm going to take out the road. That's what I say. I'm going to take out this road for the moment. Just for the moment, AI, calm down. We're going to head that way. Keeping it at about a hundred ish. Okay. Just while coming out anyway, we're going to have sharper turns than that. So we're going to, I'm going to try and keep you flat, please. Nice flat track all the way. Let's put in our road back. It'll be country. We'll put in the nice one, the nice biggie one. Uh, in fact, how would you like a little bridge? Oh, I'm feeling bridgey. Feeling bridgey. Look out, Ham's feeling bridgey. Oh, hey now. Uh... Don't want that. Just give me that for the moment, please. That bridge does seem quite high, but what I'll do to compensate is I will make that land, bring that up to Just not liking that, are you? 
I just didn't get you long enough. Try that now. I don't understand where your bridge... Oh, oh. I do understand now. Really? Okay, well, that's easily fixed. We can just punch you in. I can take you out. I can... Put... Oh, I hope I haven't stuffed this. Put you... In. Take you out. Put you in. Put you there. Take you out. Plug you in. Oh, that's worse. We're going to have to... Uh, give me that one. Oh, that's way too low. Give <laughs> We have a conundrum. Uh, yucky poo. <laughs> uh, game. That will have to do us for the moment. That'll do us, Lewis. Okay, we're going to go with that one. It does look like it's going up in the air, but it's actually not. It's it's kind of deceptive. It's a deceptive looking bridge. I'll fix that later. I'll play with the bridge later. Not exactly what I wanted. That tunnel's fine. However, if you're going to tunnel there, you have to be ready to shift back around that way shortly. So, at the moment, it was poking out that way. If we wanted to shift, it would have curved out over the water, which we kind of don't want. We want our curve to be like there just before we end up curving back that way. Right. Uh, I'll take a little bit of bridge, actually. Thank you. I will take a, a smidgen of bridge in. That's a little bit too much of that. Can I have you not with a pillar? Perfect. By pillar, I mean like the big A pillar that was on it. Can I also get you like that? That's brilliant. That's brilliant. Keeping you on the coastline here. I don't mind that it might be dipping and dodging to a slow corner. It's a scenic passenger route. We're going to have you just clip back and probably tunnel through here slightly. Yep, as we come back around there. Back to our red bridge. It's lovely. Because this red bridge will be a feature when it gets across the span where it will have its big A pillar. Oh yes, this is going to be a tasteful little passenger ride. Uh, now, we're going to line this up, right? Going to keep it straight there because it is going to come across here, shoot into a tunnel and then across the bridge. Okay, do this in sections and I'll probably get what I want. Right, so this is where we're going to come like this. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's good because we're getting nice long spans of orange bridge without that big pillar. Right, uh, I'm actually going to take this back just a section here because I don't think it's lined up how I want it otherwise. Before heading over to here, where we go, bish bash bosh. Into that one. You will now be the spectacular, oh yes, come at me. It's even got three arches. 
Three Jonathan Archers from Star Trek Enterprise. <laughs> a great TV series, by the way. Oh, yes. Three fellas. Two big ones would have been good, but I'm... Uh, wonder if we should try... wonder if two big ones would look better than three small ones. Three small ones look in proportion, though, don't they? Oh, I'm digging it, gang. Now, here's the thing I want to do. Because I can't ha I can't actually handle this. My, my small brain can't handle the fact that that's not like dirt. <laughs> I can't handle it, okay? Make it all dirt, even though it's water down here. And then I'll, I'll what I'll do, I'll, what I'll probably do in my own time is I'll probably come through and uh, retain it. I'll probably do something like, just to give you an idea, I'll probably come through and actually, can I get that? Yeah, I can. So give me like um, three meter height. Probably come through and actually just retain this whole thing to make it look correct. So the, the tracks aren't just going to sink out, if that makes sense. I'll probably do the same over on that track, to be honest. I'll probably retain it to make it look better. Okay, and that is basically our track ride in. Now we don't have the ability at the moment for the trains to turn around. How do you want to do that, Ham? Good question, well asked. What if the trains came down into here because they're going to eventually... And into there. You mean through that building? Yeah, I'll have to move the building. So you're saying the passenger train will have to come past through the town, down into here, switch onto there, turn around to come... No, 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 that's ridiculous. It could, you could just bring it out of town for the moment, switch around, or it runs reverse backwards and forwards. I don't really want the passenger train running reverse, we'll make people sick. Turn the train around, Ham. Right, we'll just bring it out here then. And we're just going to do a simple turn around out here. A very tight... Very, very tight loop. Like that. If the town so wishes it needs to build over that for the moment, that track won't be there forever. Because when we have trains that don't need to, they can actually go in reverse, we'll leave them go in reverse. So if I want to have road, that, please. Not two. I don't know why the game won't give me the road up, what I want through there. That is high enough for, for a bridge. It's high enough for a bridge, okay? <laughs> Just give me what I want! I have a little curve on the bridge. It just doesn't want to take it, does it? Okay, don't worry about it yet. Do it later. Let's get some signal work in to help it out. It's only going to be one train for the moment anyway. Uh, give me the waypoint on it. So it's going to come into that station. Switch out there. We don't even need to switch on there, so I won't put it on. Uh, and then at this end, how are you going to turn around? Same thing, same deal at this end. We're just literally going to turn it back on. How's that roundabout, by the way? Horrendous. Don't have a road there. And if you do... You don't look right. That's what people say to me all the time. Ham, you don't look right. <laughs> and I go, oh. <laughs> really? And I go, really? And they're like, yeah, sorry bro. Okay, you can't win them all. Okay, it was level. That's just on a hill. 
I will have you skid out this way a little bit further like that for me. Yep, better. Tight little teardrop to come back in. Okay, uh, what are you going to do about that road? Is there a section of... Uh, terrain here, flat, that... Is there a section here where I can flatten it and then put the road in and get what I want? Only if you hook up to that, probably. Okay, well, we'll try that. All right, that's ugly, but whatever. Uh, intersections before the roundabout? Why not? Sure. It hasn't upset the track, so I don't really care. Uh, it gives the AI the ability to do what it wants out that way. We won't worry about these. These will probably be subject to change very, very soon. Oh, I did say that I wanted to bring the train line around the back, didn't I? Bugger it, we're going to do that. I know we're running out of time. But time be damned, hey? Time be damned, people. Right, can't we want to keep this flat. If we're going to run through town, that means we are going to run through the residential <laughs> area of town, aren't we? Yes, we are. Well, not if we. Here we go. Here we go. Come through here. Right, well, A, that's not how we do things in my neck of the woods, right? You could simply choose to do this. Well, how deep do you want to go before you put a tunnel in? Okay, well, I'm going to leave you. In fact... Oh, wow, we can get a nice viaduct train around the passenger service. You're kind of ruining their beach, though, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, kind of am. Oh, I wanted to kind of run through town here. Through, right through the people's homes. Do it. What if I just, like, did this? I get what I want. You're gonna have to fix that up. It'll run slightly downhill. I'm okay with that. We either run the train up that way and into the station, or we potentially put a ooh, we put a little station here and we run, we run the tra two stop trains so people people can walk from there to there. Let me know what you think. If you'd like to see this town with the two stops, I don't normally do it because it's not really financially beneficial. But potentially, we could run two stops. One here and one over here. That could be fun. Uh, I will consider that. 100%. You're in my way. I will fix this town up so it's not... Um, Basically, I, I can have you tunneled. I do. I don't mind having you tunneled. Actually, I'll fix you up too. And I want you to run back up into there without causing. Ah, that's quite smooth. No. Uh, mm. I, I spoke too soon. What we do to fix that is we bring this along here. You could start coming up later, but that's okay. We we bring you... Whoa, 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 whoa. Before you crash burn the game. So what we do is we bring you like that, right? We get what we want here. You don't need to be... Switched. Uh, you still kind of want to derail a little bit.
This will make for this will make the ride that I really want though then. Because I'll get I'm gonna bring you out over this way, by the way. I'll bring you flat from there so I can get the look I want. And then I'll join you up to there. Right, perfect. So that way I get don't get um we don't get derailments and then you start to head down that way. Perfect. Right, so fix up the actual town so the town don't hate you. They're going to hate me for this anyway, especially the residents. The residents will hate it. Passionately hate it. You know what they'd hate more? I kind of want them to be able to build like... Right on the track there. Get me in a road like this, please. You're not really going to get much on there. But they might get like one there, one there. One there. Mm, one here, one here. Oh, they might go back to back. Okay, see how they go. See how they take to that. They're gonna, they're gonna hate it. <laughs> oh, I can just see it. I can just see the news, the news clippings now. Business mogul puts train line right through residents' homes. Disregard, Irres irresponsible, disrespectful. Why are we not getting any bridges today? What is going on here? Like. What do I have to do to get a bridge these days? I have to go up that high, apparently. That is ridiculous that, that you want me to go that high to get a bridge. That is a ridiculous height for a bridge. I'm not having a game. I'll sort you out later. Uh, let's put... Let's put some... Let's put a... Uh, let's put a waypoint right here. So it goes ding, 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 ding as it goes past all the homes. Uh, waypoint, please. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> the most hated man in Transport Fever 2 um, on this map. New line, please. Can I have the negatives? Let's go from here. Then we're going to go through this waypoint. We're going to come down here, into here, where we then come through there. And we go back down that way. Uh, hey, 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 uh, I need to put a switch in. We want a switcher, not a belly itcher. No, you should be able to come through there. What if I tell you at Silverdale Exchange to come onto Station 1? Funny, haha. -ha. You should be able to, because uh, here's the, it can or switch all here. So, you no, know, stay on, stay on number two. It should be able to come back this way. Let me tell this train track, this is the way, this is the way the train line goes. Gallop a trot, gallop a trot. Then you switch onto that one. Unless because... No, you don't need to. You just keep coming down here. Yeah, I'm going to have to put it on to... Oh, I see the problem. I can see clearly now. My eyes are open. So, um... If I do have you on number one... You're going that way, going down here, going down here. You, for some reason, don't want to come back down this way. Down this way. What if instead we sent you out here? Because I don't have a switch there, by the way. Let's bring you around this way instead. It's because I didn't put that switch in properly. But I'm gonna I'm gonna change it anyway. We're gonna run you that way. So 
So I'm going to redo this whole line. You're going to add station here. You're going to come into here and you're going to head around there. You're going to go back. You're going to come through this way. Hooray! No. Uh, put the switch on him. Oh, I'm going to have to. Why, game? Are you refusing to do what, what? There's something going on where I haven't hooked something up. That's refusing to do what I want. Let's figure this out. In fact, if that's the case, just have it go like this. Now, is you've got a connection here, you've, you've both connected. Ah, oh, is that work now? Okay, that's worked now. For some reason, it didn't like my switch there. For whatever reason, even though I switched it, it didn't like it. But it's done now. Okay, Ruby. That, my friends, is going to be a fun track ride. Right the good thing is, I don't. What we need to do is because we've got a depot just here, we want to be able to pull the train out of there and have it uh, attach onto here. So how do we go about that? We could temporarily. It is. Nope. I don't think that's going to work. Too tight. Damn! Didn't really think this one through, did we? Well, that's okay. We can bring it out through this way. We could probably just split it down here. We could probably just put a little connection from here straight into there. Sure. Why not? Okay. What's better than having um, trains everywhere? Train tracks everywhere. Okay, that is that. Let's hit play. We've got no questions, no problems. Let's do a fast forward here for a second where you can recoup a little bit of money. It doesn't really matter. I just want to see what the AI does here now. And we'll see if things start to build back in here. We also... That's our coverage, right? We're going to have plenty of coverage on both towns until... Oh, whoops, I'm going, I'm going way past it. Until we get some bus services up, you can see we've got plenty of coverage in... Really? You really want that road on the beach? Yeah, until we get bus services hooked up. We're, we're just running out of time today. As much as I would love to just keep going and going and going and going... We'll get buses in next time because we'll probably look at doing a split line up to Hastings like I was saying earlier on. Uh, okay, we'll see what they make of that shortly. Let's buy a train. We're going to go with uh, steam, obviously. We're going to go with um, now. This new design, which could also be operated with inferior coal after World War One, was also successful that it was used for decades. 115 clickety-clacks. 104 kilonewtons attractive efforts, so realistically it doesn't really need to take freight as much. Freight one you'd probably want a little bit more um, attractive effort. And we probably don't want to rinse the budget too much. That's 70. That's the one I'm using for the freight that we've just got going on. The YE here 
That's 70. Let's go with the S. At the beginning of the 20th century, stocks of high quality coal were running low. This locomotive was designed in such a way that it could be also operated with inferior coal. I mean, it's 115. Let's go with this one because we haven't used it yet, the class S. Let's go with passenger wagons. If you've got a if you've got a steam engine here, you'd probably prefer prefer to see on it. The only thing is I want to keep the cost down for the moment until we get the service up and running properly. Uh now, knowing that it does 115, I don't think it matters. That's two times loading speed. That's four times. I don't think that's really going to matter. What will matter more is that's 35 ton. That's 40 ton. Let's go with this one. Let's go with a capacity of 57 to start with. And, oh, we haven't even given that line a name. Can't do that. And we do got to change the color. What color are we going to make our lines? I always make them like um, either bright green or bright pink. Let's go with bright green. And we're going to go um, castle to silver. What? Uh, packs. That's it. Train. Rain? Yeah, rain. It's been raining here all day too. Uh, okay, like that. Thank you. Now, set you on. All right, and slow down. Ladies and gentlemen. Okay, and that is that for the day. I did have to, re I had to do a couple of reset things here before I did the outro because the line was actually running both directions. So when I went to do the track ride along, it, uh, it started going backwards and forwards in different ways. It was all hopeless. Anyway, gang, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Please, if you've got any tips, tricks, hints, comments, questions, queries, or thoughts, please leave them in the comment section down below. Alternatively, if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing to the channel to stay up to date with all the latest content that's also right on here. We'll ride from this view today. Uh, yes, and um, if you did like the episode, please consider leaving a like because it's free and it does help the channel out massively. It's the best way you can help the channel is by leaving a like and subscribing. Thank you to all the members as well who support. It is going back into the channel um, and to make uh, everything a little bit better for us all. Okay, and keep the content flowing. That's it. I've been Van Ham. Stay safe wherever you are. Stay glued to your screen. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think down below of today's build. Love to hear your thoughts. And uh, especially when it comes to if we should put a double station in the other town. Alright, get out of here.